Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, returning to you for another album review uh, this afternoon again for uh, Vola's new record, Friend of a Phantom album that I got a chance to check out for myself, see what I was going to think of this record overall. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for the 40 minutes of this record, almost 41 minutes, and let you know my thoughts on their new album, Friend of a Phantom. So let's dive into this Vola Friend of a Phantom album review. Now it starts with Cannibal featuring Anders Frieden from In Flames. Um, great song, by the way. Really enjoyed the progressive metal uh, and just the electronic work in this. Sounds really good. So they're progressive metal electronic kind of stuff. EPM is what you can shorten it for, electronic progressive metal. Um, but overall, it does sound uh, pretty good. Anders Frieden's screaming vocals were quite outstanding in this track, and just the execution of the song as a whole. It almost sounded like Between the Buried and Me, this band did, um, to be quite honest. Uh, because I remember listening to that band a few years ago, and I did enjoy some of their music they offered. So, basically, 5 out of 5 for Cannibal, uh, featuring Anders Frieden of In Flames. Great song. Break My Lying Tongue was pretty good. Very progressive of a track with the metal and electronic sound that it was going for. And I did enjoy the lead vocalist's his vocals. Keep in mind, I'm fairly new to this band. So I'm start trying to get used to their overall sound, but it is pretty good for how it is. So I'd give this a 5 out of 5. Then you have the next track, which is uh, We Will Not Disband. Disband. Um, pretty good song for how it is. Uh, I would give it a 5 out of 5 for sure. It's another great track. Oh. Break My Lying Tongue is a 5 out of 5, too, keep in mind. But overall, um, just to refresh where I left off, um, I think the lead vocalist's vocals sound pretty good in this track. And execution-wise, this track did fairly well for what it went for. Sorry, I'm writing something down real quick, so I'll get back to it in a moment. But yeah, um... The drum work, guitar work is very progressive in this track, and just execution-wise, this track did really good. 5 out of 5. Glass Mannequin was probably a pretty good song. It was a pretty good song, but not one of my personal favorites. But it, it sounds alright for what it goes for. I'd give it a 4.75 out of 5 for this one. Bleed Out was one of the longest tracks, like 6 minutes and 4 seconds on this record, but it does sound pretty good for what it went for. So it's a good, it's going to get a 4.75 out of 5 for this one. So I had a few critiques, but not to the extent where I hate this song. Uh, then you have Paper Wolf, which is a pretty good one too. It sounds good progressive wise with the electronic work and the metal sound and execution wise, the lead singer's vocals did pretty well for the most part. So Another 4.75 out of 5. I don't know how we got here. Vocally, it sounds pretty good. The choruses and the verses, they were fine for what they went for, but it's not one of my favorite songs. But I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 for this one. And you have Hollow Kid, the next track, which is a pretty good song, too, that I did enjoy for the most part. And it ended, it almost ended the record, but there's one more track that ends the album. Trey, I think, is the last one. T-R-A-Y. Um, but overall, 4.75 out of 5 for Hollow Kid. It's not terrible, but it's pretty good in its own way. So, finally, we get to the last track, T-R-A-Y, Trey. Just to make sure you guys understand that I'm trying to pronounce it right. Um, because some people get 
a little offended that I don't pronounce things right or enunciate it right. And it's like I am doing what I can. But there's just going to be some people that will get butthurt about it, so whatever. But other than that, Trey was a pretty good track for how it sounded. I just think uh, this track did have some good electronic work and the drum work. The electronic work was outstanding in this. It produced and mixed very well. And just execution-wise, the lead singer's vocals did perform very well in this track. Um, this ended the album very well for what I listened to. And if I were to give this one a score, I'm feeling a strong 4.75 out of 5 for this one. I don't know, it might grow on me, but for now, it's pretty good in its own way. So overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I found Vola, Friend of a Phantom, to be a pretty good record. Um, very progressive metal and electronic stuff. So if you're into this kind of stuff, this is the band for you. If not, you may not find it to your liking. Excuse my yawning. Um, but overall, if I were to give Vola, Friend of a Phantom, their new album, a score, I'm feeling a strong 8.5 out of 10 for this record. Pretty good. Definitely rocks for sure. Um, I was really impressed with this record. It was very unique and went out of its own way to try something new. Um, something experimental and something interesting that was appealing to me. So I wanted to check this out to see what I was going to think of it. But overall, I was impressed with the final uh, product of this record. I did not listen to any of the singles. So that made it a lot better. And for me, it just made it to the point where I did not want to listen to the singles, to be honest. I wanted to be surprised. So I'm glad I was. And the final product was pretty strong. So 8.5 out of 10 for Vola, Friend of a Phantom, their new record. Hope you enjoyed this album review this afternoon. And thanks for watching.